So this is my home study lab. And as you can see, I've got all my routers turned around facing me so it's easier to change up the configuration if I want. And this whole setup costs me about 750 and that's including some PC parts as well, not just the network equipment and cables. This rack is a 42U full height rack on wheels. Uh, that was a good Craigslist find right there. It was a little old and dirty, but uh, it's in good shape. It rolls good, and I got that for $30, maybe $20. Some guys in the office or developers used it for their development server and just wanted to get rid of it. They were moving to a, a distribution center and didn't need this anymore. But I guess we can start at the top. I've got a 2851 pretty nice router, two gigabit ports, which I like to keep uh, and use for my home network, even if I do switch out some of this gear or sell a lot of it, and I don't have one of the panels here as you can see, but that's fine. It's not too dirty in here, I'm in a, uh, a closet, a large closet or a small office, and I have a 1841 here. Got that for 75 or 85 on eBay. And then we have, let's see, this is my 2621 XM, as you can see there. That one I got for, I think, $45, something like that. And then we have a, uh, this one I got impatient for when I was first building my lab. It's a 2610 XM, it's only one Ethernet port. And I think I paid 65 for it. Um, and then this card here with this network module, one Ethernet port. It's a slow Ethernet, but uh, at least gives me one more port if I want to add another device over that router directly. I think that came pre installed into the 2851, or it may have come on the 2621XM, I'm not sure. It came with one of the other ones. And then I have. Two of these fellers right here, the 3550 switches. Um, one of them came with the two fiber, well, it's shining directly in here. One of them came with two fiber uh, GBICs, and um, these actually I got together for $45 on eBay. And uh, then I bought this uh, GBIC, you know, one gig. Ethernet adapter for that so I can have my gig uplink ports. Uh, I need to get another one of those so the other switch has one, but those you can find cheap for five or ten dollars on eBay. Uh, this is my 2960 Catalyst switch, two gig upload ports, 24 port, non PoE. I don't care for PoE right now, I don't need it. That one, I think that was a Craigslist find for about $40. I didn't have to drive too far for it. And then my 20, 2950, 24 port, non-POE. Uh, that was another eBay find. That one was probably about $30, $35, $40. And then, let's see, some of the interface cards. As you can see, I have some of the T1, the two T1, uh, the 1DSU T1 V2s and uh, WIC 2T there in the 2851 and then I've got another um, WIC 2T in the 1841 and I can use both, I have two serial cables but um, so I can test with you know having a higher bandwidth and aggregating that um, and then I have, uh, let's see, yeah I've got another one of the uh, 1DSU T1 V2s in the 2621XM and then another one in the 2610XM and uh, you can make your own cable for that you don't need to buy a cable to cross that over pretty easy to find online if you just look for a T1 um, crossover cable I think pretty easy to, to wire up yourself just to give me some more you know WAN link operations um, so I've got basically two kind of WAN links um, just gives me more options with my testing topologies um, as you can see right now, I haven't 
I haven't done much with cleaning up the cabling. You know, there's I don't have much there. Um, and then I've got this patch panel up top that I haven't done anything with yet. But I got that cheap on eBay for ten or twelve dollars. It's nice full metal, twenty-four ports. You know, hardly used. Looks pretty good. And you can see I've got two PCs down here. As um, just as some posts on the network. And then this PC here, the one I found on Craigslist a long time ago, somebody was just getting rid of it for 50 bucks, 60 bucks maybe. And on that, I have two serial cards. And I had it, I kind of used that PC as my, my terminal server instead of spending 150 or $200 on a 2509 or uh, 50, sorry, yeah, 2509 or 2511. Um, that cost me a lot less, cost me about $60, $70, I guess. But one card is a StarTech that has um, a, um, an octal cable coming out of it, basically. Or not an octal, it's a, it's a four, four port cable coming out, uh, so that makes it pretty easy. And then the other card is, um, has low profile brackets, uh, two ports per bracket, I think. I only needed eight, so I've got the four, and uh, I have the one built-in serial port to the computer, and then I have a USB adapter as well, so I don't have to try to fit all those serial ports from the other add-in card. Kind of separates my lab from the home network and still lets me get to it. And then I can work from my big desk upstairs that gives me a lot more room and much more comfortable. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you that, you know, if you're not... Oh yeah, and another thing I guess... No faceplates on a couple of these, which it's a study lab, so I don't care much about that. And actually on this uh, 30, uh, this 1841, I had two problems with the flash card, kind of disconnecting every once in a while. The router would give me a message saying there was no flash card, and sometimes when I would boot it up, it would say no flash card as well. And uh, I opened that up and saw that the, the insertion point, the connector for the flash card where the pins insert, going into the mother where that adapter goes into the motherboard there was a wire loose and it was a real pain in the butt because I'm not good at soldering but I could solder that wire and now it's perfect you know so I got a good deal on that and was able to fix it and get it working right but yeah just you know wanted to give you a idea of uh, what you can do for a lot less money if you have the patience to wait on eBay and search Craigslist out I built this over about a year and another thing with my kit is since I've got this 2851, I have the option to put in voice cards to that. And uh, when I go for the CCNP, I've got all my voice capabilities. And a lot of this gear will still be useful for even a CCIE certification study lab. So if you go bare minimum, most of your lab is not going to go forward. If you go for 2610s, 2620s, non XM, those are. I'm pretty old now, especially for the the uh, the new version of the CCNA test. So you'll need to try to get devices that will give you, you know, the iOS 15.1 or up or whatever. I've got all the newest iOSs I could get for these. If you do some searching on eBay, you can find the downloads for them. Um, a lot of people use those for GNS3 and uh, also for their home labs I guess. Most of these came with 12.4, 12.3 so they weren't the most up to date which is usually how it is when you're buying used gear they buy them. Most of these are almost 10 years old or some couple over 10 years old so no software updates in that time. But yeah, be smart. Um, if you have the money get nice brand new gear you won't have trouble like I had with the, the flash card reader on the 1841 you don't have to take so long to build your kit. Like I said, this took me about a year to put together just watching eBay when I had the extra money. I had to do a lot myself, like building the terminal server that, you know, that was a kind of a throw it together, do it yourself deal. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. All right, bye.